What's up guys, Dr. Feel Good here, back again with another video prescription. And let's talk about Epic's new digital storefront, which is a direct competitor to Steam. And the numerous videos and comments of people bitching about it. When it comes to the new Epic Games service, I need people to calm down and think critically. First off, you want Steam to have some more competition, right? Okay, now that they have it, once the competition arrives, you want to bitch and complain about every little thing. You know, the exclusivity deals and the lack of features in comparison to Steam. Okay. Let's keep in mind that Steam did not launch with everything it currently has with regard to features and functions. Yeah. I know that's hard to believe or accept but it is true it took time money research effort and implementation to get to where it is today you cannot expect epic to have everything steam has at launch Hell, it took Steam years to become who they are, to become what it is today. And Epic deserves the same goddamn patience and understanding. You really cannot even expect it to have even the most, even most of Steam's features. No matter how much you believe they are, quote unquote, standards. Second, given how established Steam is and having virtually no competition up until now. How do you suppose Epic attracts customers to their service? I mean, think about that for a moment. Steam has been around for years. They've had it all to themselves you know essentially the new kid on the block comes in they have to have something to offer their customers to make them want to leave epic i'm sorry leave steam and come over how does any business expect to attract customers well i'll tell you by offering something exclusive something the competition does not have or cannot match and in the case of this being a digital gaming storefront slash service one can easily assume you need games exclusive games L let's look at a few examples okay outside of gaming mcdonald's has the big mac and the mcrib burger king has the whopper disney has mickey if you want you can also go into franchises like toy story and whatever else right Universal has Minions, which I know some people don't like or care for too much, but it is still their intellectual property. Kia has a five year, 60,000 mile, 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty. Apple has iTunes. Along with that comes exclusive music. I'm sorry, exclusive music or exclusivity deals. Netflix has their exclusive content such as Daredevil, 
which I know it's been canceled and more than likely going to show up on Disney's new streaming service later this year, but that's besides the point. I could keep going with this. I really could. Guess what? I do not see anyone bitching about any of the aforementioned examples. Getting pissed off at Epic for offering exclusivity deals and or the developers slash publishers for accepting or taking them is stupid. Although I can admit it, it does suck in a way. It, it does. I won't take that away from you. But let's be real. They're not putting a gun to the head of these developers and publishers. If Nike all of a sudden decided to sell their shoes only at Walmart because it is financially more beneficial for them as a business, as a company, you truly cannot fault them for that as they are making what they believe is a better business decision. Although sometimes, you know, that can backfire. I'm looking at you, Rare. <laughs> See, Epic is simply trying to get their feet planted and the best way to do it is to offer something Steam does not have. You can't fault them for that. You want Steam to clean up their garbage and become a better service? Then good competition is required. What does good competition require in order to exist? Well, Steam losing customers due to not having said product. See, competition breeds innovation, right? Limitation breeds creativity. Necessity is a mother of invention. A new competitor will always face an uphill battle. Like, for example, when Sega dropped the Genesis, Nintendo had to get out their ass for they no longer had a complete stranglehold on the industry. And one can say that arguably the Sega Genesis was more popular in America than the Super Nintendo. Just saying. It is because of companies like Sega that we got the PlayStation. Have to give credit where credit is due. And you want to know what is so funny about all this? We are talking about PC gamers being pissed. Why is that funny? the game can still be played day one on your PC. You simply have to use a different platform slash launcher. That's essentially what they are. But they act like these exclusive games or these exclusivity contracts are causing the game to skip the PC completely. And that is just not the case. So a game comes to Steam 12 months later you can still play it on release day if you really want to play it using epic now if they ask the pc version altogether then i will understand you being pissed and you would have every right to be but even those that reserved the game to play it on steam and you paid your money for it the game is still landing on pc regardless I mean, who bitches about waiting, having to wait to play a game? Honestly, if you are truly dedicated to a specific platform and it is getting said game late, then you do know you have to wait. But do keep in mind, you are not required to wait. There are other options. Keep in mind that Steam and Epic are simply launchers as long as the game is coming to pc you're not missing a damn thing when it comes to service exclusivity 
Now, if this was console exclusivity, you would have a real argument because you would have to shell out hundreds of dollars for said console if you want to play said exclusive game. To be concise, you're bitching about nothing. It is like going to a grocery store and choosing between paper or plastic to bag your groceries or preparing to cook a meal at home and deciding between microwave or stove. What you want, what you need is still there. You're just choosing which way you want to do it. And the choice may be taken away from you, but said product is still available and when you want it. These games are not being delayed from their original release dates. No one told you that, oh, well, if you bought it for Steam, now you can't get the game. You can still play it. Just a different launcher. So chill out. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. And as I always say, keep it gaming.